book battle playing out in Raleigh today. The NC Values Coalition calling on lawmakers to take action over the availability of reading materials in public schools that they believe is inappropriate. How, that's, how that is determined remains a source of debate. Michael Perchick has the story. Because it's not about banning books, it's about selecting the proper materials that are appropriate. NC Values Coalition Executive Director Tammy Fitzgerald says some books in schools include sexually graphic content. This is not about targeting one specific set of people. This is about saying it is inappropriate to teach sexual acts of whatever nature they are in school. Speakers believe local boards of education have not adequately responded to their concerns. Cheryl Caulfield serves on the Wake County School Board and shared one such effort to come to a compromise with fellow members. When you go to the library, you have different sections for different books. So we could have this content, uh, the, the books that have this content that's questionable in a certain area with per parent permission slips. However, Caulfield says those efforts haven't yielded results. Now this group looking to state lawmakers to establish guidelines to determine what's age appropriate. Fitzgerald tells us they're planning on doing so as part of an existing bill through committee that did not have specifics on which bill or timing. She says their focus is just on public school libraries, not all libraries. This push comes less than a year after lawmakers passed the Parents' Bill of Rights, which prohibits any public school curriculum on gender identity or sexuality through at least fourth grade, amongst other measures. There's already a process for review of material that people may find problematic, and this Bill of Rights and the way that the implementation guidance was set to principles just takes it too far. P Flag Southern Pines believes Moore County Schools has gone too far in its enforcement of the new law, claiming its removed books would feature to homosexual parents. We cannot let these clear violations go unnoticed and unchallenged because if we do, what's the next marginalized community that they're going to strike. The group has filed a Title IX federal complaint with the U.S. Department of Education Office for Civil Rights. Um, we do have students um, in our school system who come from same-sex families, um, and um, they deserve to see their family represented in books in their classroom. I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.